feel the, the gentle bounce and feel the shoulders opening. Okay, so today we'll be working on balance. So we're going to be doing balancey things today. Okay, let's just do, do some of this. So, those, those of you not on Zoom, the other, the people in the hall have done all this already. <laughs> so, it's just, um, I was driving around Eden trying to find somewhere to park. So, uh, there we go. Keep breathing, that's it. Nice and relaxed. That's it. Nice and tall in the body. Okay, four more. Four, three, two, one. And just relax your shoulders. Sink around the hips. Have your knees in line with your toes. So, and just practice your stance. So we're nice and relaxed, we're sinking back and down the hips, we're lengthening or suspending from the head. So it's like, yeah. I'll try not to trip over the wires. Yeah, don't do that. Oh. Okay, relax the palms of the hands. And. Let's start with a bit of, so, put your hands together like that, like that, and just press and have a round shape. So, the tips of your fingers together. Yeah, that's it. Good. Very good, everybody. And then what we're going to do, I'll show from the diagonal, we're going to do, just tap your fingers together. So can I just, it's a bit chilly this morning, so let's do some DIY massage, pounding massage. Okay, and then interlink your fingers like that and we'll just massage the inside of our hands. So you want to put the fingers together. Yeah. And then shake. There you go. That's it. <clears throat> okay, make a open hand and a fist. And we're gonna pull five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right, like that, like that, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. And then we go like this. So you just very gently tap around the outside of the hands. That's it. And while we're doing that, we've got a good posture. So we're just... Okay, then make that shape with your hands. That is the tiger's mouth. Tiger's mouth. So you're tapping the tiger mouth together. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You've got a nice round shape in the arm. Then you swap them round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fabulous. And we shake out. Okay, now we're, um, I'll just take these off. Hopefully, I can still vaguely see you. So we've got our proper hands together and we're just going to tap around the face. Just tap around the face. And tap around the top of the head and then back and then like that. Okay, now we're going to smooth out our forehead. 
And so we put the hands like this and we smooth out. Smooth out. So we'll hopefully all look much younger today. That'd be great, yeah. And then just massage your massage the side of the head. Temporalis muscle. And then massage your cheeks. Again, imagine them smoothing out. So, um, Eva Kaskuba, who I've learned most of these from, or some of these from, she reckons she's, she's been doing these in, uh, on, on Zoom for like a year, the massage. And um, she reckons her face has got a bit younger I don't know, but... <laughs> Try it out. It's worth trying. Okay. And then, like, like that, and then you massage either side of the ears. And then like that, either side of the nose. And then just massage around here, like that. And if you press, there's an acupuncture point here which can be a bit tight. But you can just press it in. And that's a good one for sinuses. And then on the bridge of the nose, just give a little massage there. And then massage around the bony socket. Okay, and then with your um, knuckles, you just massage either side of the throat. So it's nice one for... This one's for your limbs, apparently. So you just do that, that's very nice. So you should all be feeling much more fresh faced now and younger looking. <laughs> okay, now with your thumbs, you do the occipital bridge, this bit round here. Yes. So we'll just do that. So again, you can get quite tight in the neck, and this is a good way if you have a stiff neck of releasing it. And then, like shampooing your hair, and then you can ask yourself if you're going anywhere nice on holiday. Okay, then smooth out your face. And then, oh, this one I've almost forgot. You get underneath your, that's it, up to the ears. Up to the ears. And this will help. You know. Lift up face, very nice. Okay, marvellous. So that's our face is nice and relaxed. Oh, do, they, do you feel smoother? And then what we'll do is we'll tap the uh, tap the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm and up the outside of the arm. Oh. Yeah, it's quite cold this morning. Did you all manage to find a parking space? Or was it a bit of a... Uh, I've parked up in Den... Uh, whatever that road is. Deacon's Lane, yeah. Deacon's Lane. Okay, do the other side so it's not jealous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down the inside of the arm. Up the outside of the <coughs> Okay, now with your this part of the hand and this part of the hand, you're moving your heel towards your fingers on your upper trapezius muscle. So we're just squeezing that muscle. Oh, and then you give it a tap and squeeze it. Now rub your shoulder. Be very nice to your shoulder. That's it. We're nice and tall. And we're all breathing. Very good. And then we're going to squeeze down the little finger side of the arm. And then when you get to the elbow, be nice to your elbow. 
that can be quite, you know, elbows get left out sometimes, yeah. so we're gonna, we just bang them on things. And then we just do that, and then the little thing in the front fingers will wiggle. So you're squeezing down the fingers, squeeze down the fingers, that's it. So we're just giving ourselves a nice massage. Now go to the thumb side. And then pick up your hands and give it a wave. Maybe wave at your friend. And then just let that go. And then we just do this. We just swing. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Right, that's one relaxed arm, isn't it? Should we do the other arm? Yeah. It's going to be like this all day. So, um, check your posture first. Um, check your posture first. So, I was in, uh, I went to see my teacher on Tuesday, and we got, we did this dance, and then we did this dance, and then we ran out of time. And, um, there you go. So, what you want to do, you really want to feel the ground under your feet and you want to really sink those hips. So when you sink the hips, you engage your postural muscles in your leg and it makes your leg stronger and it makes it easier to balance. So it's really worth persevering with. So we're in a good Ruchi start, so then we're going to massage our other shoulder and just squeeze in there. So I, I do a combination of squeezes and, and tapping into the muscle just to kind of help with the circulation. And then we'll just, nice thoughts around the shoulder, then nice and warm. So it's like, and then you squeeze down, squeeze, squeeze, you grab the elbow and you squeeze down. That's great. And now we're down the middle, around the elbow again. And then the fun side. And then we do the fingers. It's alright. <laughs> yep, remember when you hear a sound, check your posture. And then wave your hand. Wait, wave at the back. So, um, there we go. And then just let that two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then upright. And we'll just go back to that one. Say, how the, is that feeling a bit better? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? What you can do for yourself. You know. Personally, I still prefer going to see the, 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 the lady that does the massages here. She's brilliant, she is. I just was like, oh, <laughs> but, um, you know, but you can do, do a lot and free up your, um, free up your, um, your arms. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit on the chest. So we're just going to gently tap on the chest here and then tap, tap on the chest here and then both. So just put a bit of circulation in there and then with your, either your fist or the heel of your hand you can rub you can rub there and then that can help free things or you can do both at the same time right and then uh, da, 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 done that done that done that oh yeah just rub the back and then tap either side of the back, either side of the spine, in parallel lines radiating outwards. So usually whenever does the massage, she'll spend about half an hour on it in a class, but we haven't got that long. So round the hips, on your glutes. So round the hips again, down the outsides of the legs, up the insides of the legs. Tap the feet. Up the insides, down the outsides, tap the feet, up the insides, down the outsides, tap the feet, up the inside. One more time. Okay, so, and then in the inside, the legs like that. 
Okay, now here's a good one for the knees. I'll just demonstrate. So you make a cup shape with your hands. Cup shape, yeah, that's it. And we go inside on the top, outside on the top. And we're going to do that five times. And then, and then you massage each knee separate. So this is one I learned from Barry McGinley. Here we go. Ready? Go. One. On the top. Two. On the top. Outside. On the top. Three. On the top. Outside. On the top. Four. On the top. Outside. On the top. Five. Brilliant. Now we massage one knee. So give that a rub. That's it. Now massage your other knee. Fabulous. Great. And then we'll do, oh, we'll do the feet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now with the hands. And then we go. One, two, three, four. There you go. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll just finish your whole massage. So breathing. Out. So that last one I learned from Edith Scuba. Oh, nice. Okay, right, so hopefully that's how, how's that? Is that a bit, a bit better? Okay, let's uh, let's do some shoulders. One, two, <clears throat> three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction, same shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and tall. Other shoulder. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, nice. Seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bird folds its wings open the chest, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open. Close, open, close, nice. Pen waves its wings, turn, two, that's it. So we've got a little turn in our waist. We're all breathing, very nice. Yeah, nice everybody. Very smooth. So yeah, that is a tawny owl in the thing. Yeah, it's my friend Nick. I've got a very funny story about that. One more time. Um, other side, other on. Yeah, he was out late at night in this woods near where he lives in Peterborough yeah. with his recording equipment and a big microphone thing with a dish round it and his camouflage gear. <laughs> it was quite late at night. And he was just about to record the owls and um, then these two policemen came up to him and asked him what he was up to because in the same woods things other than field recording were happening so they had to go and check my friend Nick out so we didn't record them that night he had to come back the next night and that was the very funny so there we go very nice okay like this, we do polishing the table. So you turn, now you sink your hips back and you counterbalance with the hand. Now you come back. One, two, three. One, two, two. Three. So keep the length in feeling. <clears throat> and we're all breathing. This is nice. And 
Great. Okay, next, check your posture. Breathing in, <clears throat> breathing out. And we'll just do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling forwards. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, rolling back. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, over and under. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Okay, stretch up, make a fist, turn it over, maintain the length. There we go. One, down, one, up, turn it over, two. One down, one up, three. One down, one up, four. Down, one up, we'll just do six, five. One down, one up, six. There we go. Nice one. Okay, hands on the, the hip circles. One, two, three. Thanks for coming. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Other direction. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet together, hands on the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we'll do, we'll do some next swings. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right, okay. Yeah, I think we've warmed up, haven't we? Okay, let's just start here. Gather, gather under. We'll just do a little bit of rooting down. <clears throat> I 
Okay, now we can bind them. Um, we'll do it to the front first and then we'll have a look at some, some turning and stuff because again that's good for good for developing balance. So here we go. We'll just go like this. Down. And then we go straight into wild goose. Down. And then we go straight into plant plant. Oh that's lovely. So think about your really using your legs.
Keep breathing. Mold. Relax the shoulders, open the hands. <clears throat> Keep breathing some more. Very nice, everybody. That was wonderful. Okay. Okay, another one that shifts the weight. Transfer and then go to cat stops. And you want your hips level. And then you go heel toe, cat stops. That's it. We're nice and tall. Heel toe, cat stops. Heel toe, cat stops. So there we go. Just you want to relax, you want to bend that leg a bit. And it's like you're, you're resting on a high, you know, like in the pub, they have those high stools. Not that I really go to pubs, but I would imagine there is high stools, there is high stools in the yeah. pub. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm really dull. Okay, beautiful, that was great. We'll let the feet sort themselves out. Right, now we're going to do. Grasp the sparrow's tail, right crane spreads its wings, and health exercise. So this is palm up, this is palm down, and it's a nice round shape. Nice round shape. That's it. So over the over the head. So you should be able to see your head. So bring it in a bit. Yeah, but a bit higher up. Perfect. Yeah. So like that, and then grasp the sparrow's tail. White crane for spread its wings. So imagine a beautiful white crane. Right. Thanks for coming, chaps. See you next week. Right. And then white crane. Marvellous. Right, okay. Make sure your crane is a bit more straight. There we are. Fabulous. Now we come down. Come up. See you next week. And there we go. There we go. Right now, what we do is we go like this. Easy, easy. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> and we go. Look at that. I mean, what could be? Right, right. Remember, cranes don't often look worried. <laughs> right. Like that. Transfer the weight. Right. I'm going to turn around the other way. Is that easier? No. <laughs> Keep breathing. Remember, cranes breathe as well. Now, if you really want to show off, how do it? There we go. We've got it. We've got it. So you're all doing something like what, what I'm doing, which is perfect. Okay, now what you can do is you can lift up your leg, if you want, lift up your leg and fall over. Yeah, you can, you can keep your crane on the ground if you want, this isn't boot camp, this is just things to do for fun. You might be in the queue, in weight rows, bored, and you can do this and people will think you're either mad or go to that Tai Chi class and you can tell them about it and say, I go to this brilliant, not what I can do. I can do this. Right, yeah, brilliant. Or Tesco's or Aldi, you know, many supermarkets. Brilliant, right. Um... Oh, we've not done that one for a while. Yeah, this is another one. This is called, what was it called? It was. Ping, ping something, place, it's that toad one, so you go like that, so you come up like this, and you go like this, and you go one, two, and then you come, one, two, so it's, it's a hero, hero plays with toad. <laughs> Which I always thought sounded a bit dodge, but there you go. 
I'll ask everyone about that. Right, brilliant, well done. Uh, oh, it's one minute to ten two. You better go to the Let's stop for a water break while Beth goes to football. Right. But keep the knees in line with the toes. And we're just going to sink back and down. And we're, we're nice and tall, tall through the body. So when you're, when you're doing this, and we're nice and tall, and we're breathing, we're breathing very nice. Relax around the jaw, there we go. This one. Yes. I know. Well, I've not been using one for ages. Yeah. Okay. Come forwards. I've not had one for the whole of COVID, so I think. I'll ask Jeremy if I can have the mic back, that might help. Okay, so, feel the ground under your feet, tall through the body, relax the shoulders, relax the hips, sink, feel the ground under your feet. Can you, can you hear me at the back? Oh, well, there you go. I just needed to project a bit. Yeah. And also, it helps when they've stopped playing, doesn't it? Because then. But you kind of learn by doing anyway, really. You just watch. Like, if you were in China, there'd be a teacher and there'd be like hundreds of people, and he'd be like a little dot that you couldn't hear, so you just. And you transfer, now this time, watch the alignment of the knee. Make sure, so you want to rotate outwards in this hip joint so this knee stays pointing where the toes point. And then we're just going to do this. And we're all breathing. Very nice, so it's a bit of a... Relax around the jaw. Keep breathing. That's beautiful, everybody. Soft, smooth, and slow. Okay, now try that the other side. So start here. Watch the other knee. So when you're when you're circling, make sure your knees are in line with the toes. So this will work your leg muscles. Make them nice and strong. So I'm just nice and relaxed here. If you want, you can put your hand on your, your waist to feel what's going on. And then both hands, both hands. One 
one more time insert. Okay, then this time, like this, and like this. Yes. Uprooting the flowers. So you open the back, stretch the back, open the chest. Stretch the back, close the chest, open the chest. Good. And one more time each side. Okay, next. Taming the tiger. So a nice open feeling in the chest. That's it. So it's like you're turning a giant steering wheel. Okay, one more time each side, very nice. Okay, the last one in this stance, we come around like this, we cross the hands, we bend the bow and shoot the arrow. Sink into that. Out, cross, stretch. Stretch. One more time each side. Okay. Okay, let's do we have one foot forward and just very gently sink forward and back. So I'll overrun a bit because I was so late and I want you to get your money's worth. Um, so nice and tall, tall through the head, relax the shoulders. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes. And we're just going to do double hand push. Just push. Show you that from the diagonal, so like this. So you're, you're looking forward, you're listening behind, you're lengthening. So you want your, your hips to sink as you suspend through your head. That's brand new from last night. And I went, sink the hips, suspend through the head. Okay, yeah, very exciting. Okay, now this time, sink back, forward. Back, forward, so rolling the ball. <clears throat> One more time, and then this time. Lifting water. Tall through the body. You want to feel nice and tall with solid connection with the feet and the ground. Okay, now this time, make a claw shape with your hand. And it's called Tiger Sharpens Its Claws. You go backwards, you come up, and forward, and you come backwards. So I learnt this one from Ever. Sound effects optional. Tiger Sharpens Its Claws. I really like it. It's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> and then one more. Excellent. Right, we'll do that on the other side. Have a little shake out. Check your posture. So we're strengthening our legs today. Heel toe. Check the posture. You just go forwards and back. So again, sink the hips, suspend through the head, chin holding a small ball, and you're looking slightly down. 
and there's open feeling in the body, nice and open. And then double handed push, so. Slightly different than normal. So I'm thinking more about the elbows going apart and then pushing forward, and I'm staying on the same line. So this one's a version from each one, intent boxing. And then, one more, and then you change to rolling the ball. So that's a bit different to the claw one. It's a lot more soft. See if you can connect what your hands are doing with what the weight's doing. Okay, and then lifting water. Breathing. It's quite nice and easy movement when you feel comfortable, when you feel content. Relax. Okay. Tiger sharpens its claws. Pull back with your claw. Imagine a pair of velvet curtains and you just go whoosh. Like the cat. Yeah, well, I don't know what it is about cats, but they really like getting right in your way. Especially when you've got a cup of tea or something. Oh dear. Anyway. You've got sleepy tiger eyes. There we go. Oh. Up, down, pull back with your claws. Up, down, one more time, pull back with your claws. Beautiful, okay. Right, another balanced one. So we come down, come up, like that. Actually, we'll, we'll go to cat stance. Right, thanks a lot. See you next. Oh, you, you're putting your coat on. Oh, you put coat on. Yeah, it's got a bit chilly, hasn't it? There we go. And now, if you want, you can lift off. Down and lift up, and this is a good one for balance. So, you know, again, you might be in another queue, maybe you're at the post office this time and you're bored and you want to do some daily life training. There we are. No one will notice. Well, they wouldn't on Mill Road Post Office in Cambridge. I mean, you can do all sorts. I know how to have fun in the post office queue. Okay, very nice. Right, next, let's do, yeah, let's do, crate. oh yeah, Swan Lake. <laughs> very nice. You've got your feathery legs on and the, that, that, that bit there. Very nice, keep going. <laughs> oh, aren't we good? Okay. Right. That was so good. We'll do Y tape off the fruit, but not as a walking thing. We'll just do it like this. So go to the diagonal, we'll go like this. Open. Set Billy off now. And then sit back and turn. There we are. We'll just do four of these because. I don't want to be late for keep fit because I want to join in, I'm joining in with keep fit again. I had such a laugh last week. I want to do it all over again. And it was really fun. There we go. Just do something, it's fine. I won't tell anyone. Just be very nice and relaxed. I will be completely fooled. Marvellous. We'll have a look at it closer next week when I'm not stuck in traffic. Okay, come round into a circle, that was amazing. Well done everybody. Let's go back. So hopefully we've worked a bit, we'll keep doing balance exercises most weeks because they're great. But 
balance exercise is a really good thing. So nice and tall. We'll just do this. Turn to the mountain. Thanks, Billy. And one more time. Fastest ending I've ever done. Rub your hands together and polish your face so you look even younger. You know, we've smoothed out our faces, so we'll look like super young this morning. Brilliant. And then rub your hands together again and give your lower back a rub. Marvellous. And then, here we go again. Move it. Move back. All through the body, embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Nice. Relax. Really keep your focus of attention. Sink your hips. One more time. And just stand. Make a fist with the right hand. Left hand over the top, bring your feet together and bow. Brilliant, well done everyone. Thanks to you, Bobby, for 